Scripting is just unreal. Okay. I'm holding on to the ball now. Sancho. Nice running behind. Mukoko. I have a, a, a Lango across from me. I'm going to go with Mukoko. I put it away. It's 3-1. It's 3-1. Yo. Okay. So we're back. We're back with another episode. Episode 32. This is season three. As you guys should already know if you've been tuning in. So uh, yeah. We're going to quickly recap what happened in episode 31. So uh, if you were watching or if you weren't watching we won 3-1 against Tottenham Hotspur in the Carabao Cup fourth round encounter at Old Trafford after that we had a game we had a trip to the Molyneux Stadium against Wolverhampton where we beat them 2-0 in the league and then we had a game of match day four in Group D against Club Bruges where we won 2-1 off camera we won 5-1 against AFC Bournemouth so for today's episode now we are going to be playing against Leicester City we have a game against Real Sociedad that's match day 5 in group D and then we have a home game against Nottingham Forest in the last episode I did say I need to try and cut down on just playing against the so-called top six and try to include games where we play um, teams like Nottingham Forest I won't say Leicester City we played Leicester City a lot on camera so yeah, as you can see, we've played 11 games altogether. We've got 29 points on the table. Second place are Arsenal. They are also level uh, with the side that are third place on points. So Arsenal, they have 24 points. Liverpool, they have 24 as well. And they're sitting at third. Manchester City, they're back in a... I think, I think they dropped out of the top four in the previous episode. If I remember correctly, now they're back in it. They are fourth place with 22 points. And behind them by two points are West Ham United. Um, normally I waffle, uh, yeah, it's, it's like some sort of um, disease around here when it comes to waffling. So yeah, we're going to go straight into a game, which is quite rare. So Leicester City against Manchester United, we're at the King Power Stadium away from home. Uh, they have 12 points and they're sitting at 13th. And uh, last time I checked, they weren't doing too well in terms of like their wins, draws and losses. So as you can see, they've only won two games, drawn six and lost three. Conceding, um, conceding 13 and only scoring 12. So go, uh, going forward, they're not too great or clinical. Defensively, they are there for the taking. They're not the worst um, side defensively in, this, in the league. I think that's... Okay, it's level between uh, Southampton and Aston Villa. They both conceded 23 goals. But at the moment, we are running away with um, goals for us. 33 goals to 9 being conceded with a goal difference of 24. So yeah, going forward, we, we definitely have the charms up front. We definitely have the players that know how to convert the chances that are, are being created. So there's no excuse. There's definitely no, excu uh, no excuse. There's a mid-table side as well. So these are definitely teams that we need to be picking up points against if we are going to look to retain the title okay so it's the first match of this episode and uh yeah we're away from home it's quite a gloomy day it's an overcast day at the king power stadium hopefully my players have the bottle uh to play against one of our bogey sides and get the three points let's go let's go okay so the game's kicked off we're attacking to the left leicester city attacking to the right we got the, the game kicked off surprisingly and uh yeah we are fielded a strong side. We mean business. We want to kick this episode off positively. No, I'm definitely not taking any chances. They definitely have the, the personnel to hit me where it hurts. Certain individuals. They don't play well as a team throughout the league. But whenever they, they play against me, they turn up. So, yeah. Let's be ruthless in this game. Let's try to put four past them if we can. It's a, it's a box of life. Rashford is uh, tackled by Amate. It's Dakar. That's in Dakar. Barnes. Harvey Barnes plays it to his right. Bubakari Samari. Finds someone in the box. I think that's Ayosa Perez. He takes a shot. It goes wide on the right hand post. Uh, they normally t target his side or just target him in general. Whether they're going to play a through ball over the top or just play it past them. He's never in position to stop it. There's Malassia. Jaden Sancho, who's in hot form. Ball played over the top. Amati gets it cleared. He's the club captain for Leicester City for this game. So we've gone all the way back to the keeper by accident. And there's David De Gea. I think Leicester City just tried to trigger their press. This is probably the time to, to try to hit them. On the counter. Oh my goodness me, Anthony. We were very patient just now. I, I wasn't able to get the ball up and over the way I wanted it to. It's just gone over the bar. 
We'll see not everyone can go with the slow approach like we like we can. At first it wasn't even like this. We used to struggle to put passes together. And I will spend pretty much majority of the episode moaning about misplaced passes. Ayoza Perez with the shot. Dakar is there for the rebound. He taps it in. It's 1-0 to Leicester C. All that waffle in the end means nothing because <laughs> Leicester C have taken the lead. I was tempting them. I was tempting them. I, was, I did go into this game believing that we were going to be the bigger threat going forward. And so far, Leicester C, they managed to cause one or two issues here and there. And now they finally made it pay off. And that's against us. Here's a McTomney. So what's the light? We have uh, Anthony on this right-hand side. Puts the ball in. Fires. Makes the block. So what's the light? It's brought down from behind. Dakar should be getting a card. I, yeah, he's going to get a red. I already know this run-up. We know the run-up. It's a red card for Pats and Dakar. So Leicester City are now down to 10 men after taking the lead. And guess who it is that sent off? It's the goal scorer himself. Really shocking challenge. And if he knew better, he would know to not give Sabotsalai a free kick from this range. Okay, Sabotsalai steps up. Hits it. Going nowhere. Going nowhere. Ah... Uh, into Bruno. Supports the light. Anthony, he's onside. Anthony supports the light. Sancho takes the shot, it's blocked. I think Amate is the player that blocked the initial shot. Tried to get it cleared, but supports the light is there. Gonna keep piling on the pressure. Need to make it count though. Ball in from Sancho gets cleared by fires. Herrera looked like he was definitely gonna get that. Cross didn't look too threatening. We still have possession though. We're, we're not allowing them to breathe. There's Rashford. Anthony into support the light. McTomney. Sancho. Anthony. Sancho. Sancho with the shot. Herrera with the save. Uh, we're denied. We're denied. We are creating chances. We have been patient. We are looking good on the ball as well. Just uh, this keeper has really good reflexes. There's a corner kick. Bruno Fernandes is about to put this one in. I'm going to aim to swing it inwards. Ball goes in. McTominay should be winning that battle. Fires gets to it. It's an easy, easy attempt for Fires to get it cleared. But he doesn't do the trick because we still have the ball. Rashford. Martinez. Anthony. Fernandes. <laughs> uh, what's it going to take? We need to get a shot off eventually. Two minutes added on. Bruno, go on Bruno, oh, fires, comes in with a really aggressive but clean challenge as uh, we are about to head off into half time, all played over the top into Perez, and that's your heads about to keep on, I'm sure, I'm sure that's the last piece of action for the first half, uh, boos are ringing around the stadium, I'm going to assume that it's the United fans, the away fans, I mean we deserve to be booed, uh, for the last segment we, we moved the ball a lot around in the penalty area, we didn't take the shot, can be frustrating. Let's try to get a goal in a in the in the second half. Ball goes into the box, cleared out by Sabali. Fernandez into Anthony, McTomney, Fernandez. We're gonna shoot across the keeper. He tips the ball onto the post. He tips the ball onto the post. It remains one 0 This guy, I don't understand. I don't understand what is going on. <laughs> For 52 minutes on the clock, it's still one 0 The Leicester City, we still got the ball. Fernandez supports the lie. Come on, man. McTomney, play that ball. The low, in the box. Rashford takes it down on his chest. Amati's on me. I knew he was going to tackle me after I took it down. Uh, 55 minutes on the clock. Nothing came of that attack. Look at the possession, man. Switch a plane to Johnson. Oh, uh, ball over the top into our uh, shot from... Uh, is that Harvey Barnes? That is Harvey Barnes. Kind of looks like Vardy from over here. Nice save from David Ahea. Hey, okay, we're going to keep going. Oh, Anthony, ball into the box. Sancho! Nah, this is, this is a joke now. This is a real joke. I clipped the bar. It looked like it bounced in front of the line, not behind it. Still haven't found the equaliser yet. Malasia, ball in. Go on, Rashford. Should be jumping. Out jumping Johnson in the air. He has no excuse to not be contesting that ball. 
Okay, so I'm not going to leave it late. We're making two changes now. Forget what Leicester City are doing. We don't care about Sion Chu. So we are bringing on um, we are bringing on some personnel. Felix is on for Jaden Sancho. We're also taking off for LaCroix. He's got a knock. We're bringing on Lindelof. LaCroix's not really doing badly. He's not playing good either. I don't know. We just, we just need to take him off. He has a knock. Hopefully, this can spur us on to get a goal. 65 minutes is on the clock. We're still trailing 1-0. We are dominating. But it means nothing if we don't get a goal. Come on. Rashford, poor pass. Just about makes it to uh, Charles Felix, though. He's on this left-hand side, makes it into the box. There's uh, Anthony, Fernandez, Rashford, Felix. Come on. Shield that ball. Keep the ball in. Malassia. It's a box to lie. Turn, take a shot over the bar. Wide as well. Really wide. Okay, so right now, Leicester City, I don't know what's going on with this game. This game is shagging me left, right and centre. I've smacked the bar. I've been denied from close range multiple times. Through balls, they're not really dropping down correctly to the player. Look, why is he taking the touch before he's even ahead of Sionchu? There's uh, Rashford. Rashford. Anthony. Shoot first time. Shoot first time. I'm holding square. I'm holding square. Shoot. I'm, I'm actually getting annoyed now. Shoot, bro. <laughs> it's Drewsby Hall. Samari. There's an overlapping run, of course. And no one's going to track that run. No one's going to track it. He's going to cut this ball back. Yep. Harvey Barnes is over there. Into Johnson. Who cuts it back. Shot from Samari. If that was Dakar, it probably would have been 2 0. But um, really poor connection by Samari. Uh, of course. Of course, it's going to happen this way as well. This is why I don't like to talk my team up in the menu. Whenever I talk the most crud in the menu and talk my team up, we just embarrass ourselves. We just lost 1-0 to Leicester City and they're down to 10 men. And, and the fact of the matter is, we should have scored at least 3 or 4. We definitely should have scored at least 3 or 4. The keeper's played outstandingly. I'm not going to take that away from him. But look at the stats, man. Look at the stats. This is literally a meme and a half. Only 59 passes completed throughout the whole game. 33% possession. Six shots. I don't even know how they even managed to even get six shots off. Uh, let's, let's head off into the menu. We've kicked this episode off with our first defeat in the league this season. Can we bounce back? Let's find out. Okay, so here we are. Miladin Georgiev. Miladin, Laden, I don't know. If, if, is it a silent M or an L? I, I'm going to call him Laden. Yeah, Laden Georgiev. So Laden Georgiev, he's uh, 15 years of age, he's Bulgarian, his overall is 55, his potential is between 67 to 91. And uh, as you can see, he is looking quite uh, promising. His individual stats that stand out is his sprinting speed at the moment, 72 sprint speed. His, his acceleration is 66, agility 69. So he's quite agile for his height, so he's 6 foot 2. However, his uh, work rates, that's what worries me at the moment, his work rate is quite low was um defensive work rate attack and work work rate we can work on that just by um utilizing him as a poacher for now uh, we can also work on that through being a target man but we're just going to work on him as a poacher because it, it benefits him uh his bit it benefits his overall game more um just working on him as a poacher in terms of um his skill moves three stars He's got a four-star weak foot as well. Okay, so yeah, we're about to head off into this next game away from home against Real Sociedad. Uh, as you can see, they are sitting at third place in Group D. We are going to be playing in the, in the Real Arena, if that's how you pronounce it. So yeah, again, I'm not going to talk up my team. I, talk, I spoke really highly of them going into that Leicester game and they put in that poor performance. So yeah, we need to bounce back with a victory because yeah, it's, it's just not on to be playing like that. Okay, so even though we have confirmed a spot in the knockout phase, we aren't going to take this group stage, this group game for granted. We are going to field as strong as a side as possible. As you can see, we have David Ahir and Goal at the back. We have Timber, Lindelof, Martinez and Mendes. In the midfield, we have Fernandez, McTomney and Van der Beek. Up top, we have Marcus Rashford. Alanga's on the right-hand side and Shao Felix is on the left-hand side. So, the game is on the way. Real Sociedad have got the game kicked off. They're attacking to the right and we're attacking to the left. We're off the back of a defeat against Leicester City. Again, another away game. 
hopefully this away trip can end with three points coming our way. So, enough waffling now. All that waffle, all that waffle. We need to put some action. We need to put some... Um, what's it, what is it? We need to... We need to take action. Let's just say that. I, I don't know what, what I was trying to say, but I, I, I think that's where I'm getting at now. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Mick Tomney. Here's uh, Bruno Fernandes. Timber. We're going to cut this ball back. Rashford. Well, it's looking really easy. I was about to say, what is going on here? To William Saliba. Guevara. Appenda. Oh, nice ball. Forward into Bayo. Kubo inside the box. I don't know what Guevara was doing just then. Flush his lines. Now we can come away with the ball. Here's Alanga. Turns, plays into Rashford. Rashford has Alanga ahead of him now. Finds Alanga with a through ball. Ball cut back. Oh, what is going on there? What is going on? Someone needs to read the flight of the ball. Why is it that none of my teammates read the flight of the ball? And at least one player needs to just hang back. Hang back outside the box. Why are you all three of you running into the box when you can see the ball's not going into the box? <laughs> <laughs> oh my days I feel like this episode is going to be full of rants because our players they're just not using their brain Martinez McTomney not long shot <laughs> almost beats him as well Romero tested from long range Bruno Fernandez was the guy who, who almost scored wow. inside the penalty area go on Timbar stop him Cuba outside the box Lopez, Kubo, how does he get the ball into Appenda like that? Appenda takes the shot, David De Gea does well to make the save, but I'm really appalled by my defence. Gusto, oh yeah, that's about, Black lost the shot, David De Gea can easily deal with that. My defenders, I don't, they, they, they're they the ones that are letting us down in this episode, I must, I must point that out. Going forward, like, I get it, we need to be taking our chances, but the defence, like, that free ball should not make it through. Mendes, Felix, ball in behind, Rashford, Rashford, cuts in, Rashford, right foot, oh my goodness me, the ball drops to Bruno, we're still inside the box, Bruno takes the shot, Romero makes another save, I'm not even going to comment on the goalkeeping in this episode for the opposition, I'm really not going to, I'm not going to get started about that, it's just not making any sense, everybody is Neuer, Neuer, prime Neuer, that's, that's what it feels like right now, prime David Gea. Okay, so we have a corner kick. Bruno Fernandes standing over it. Like yet again. Still yet to get a goal from one of these set pieces. Boop. No one's no one's attacking it. No one's attacking it. Shao Felix is just... For some reason, he's got some sort of shield stopping him from attacking that cross. There's Timber. Alanga. Go on, Alanga. Go on, Alanga. Cuts it back. Rashford. Doesn't want the ball. He just doesn't want the ball. Timber. Van der Beek. I'm due to back off this hoodie, guys. <laughs> I, I'm going to back off this hoodie. I'm getting hot. I'm getting heated when it comes to that encounter. We need to be peppering them. There's a Rashford. Felix tackled by Diassi. We need to be more aggressive on the ball. I mean, off the ball. Like, get the ball back. Guys are just allowing them to run around freely with the ball. 53 minutes played. Still nil-nil. Alanga plays a nice ball in behind. Go on, Rashford. Rashford takes a shot. Romero with another save. It, I, it just wasn't worth waiting for these guys to support me. If you're not in the box, I'm not going to stand around and wait for you to arrive late. These guys should already have the mentality that they need to go and get a goal. Yes, he gets it cleared. Van der Beek. Fernandez. Van der Beek outside the box. Drags that wide on the left-hand post. Don Martinez intercepts that ball. Shao Felix plays the ball forward. Marcus Rashford. Felix, you need to make a better run than that. You're just too close to Saliba. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to celebrate that. Because he's just annoyed me. Like, why is, he, why is he moving the way he's continuously moved throughout this episode? Like, what, six minutes remaining. Still yet to make any of our substitutions. That's how desperate I was to get a goal. I just weren't bothered. The ball get, gets cut back into Kubo. Cutting in on his left. Lindelof puts a poor, poor attempt in to try and win the ball back. And they finally get a shot off. It's a poor shot, luckily. He did have a lot of space. A lot of space on the edge of the box to pick out where he wanted to aim his shot. 
Oh no, guys, man. Oh no, my players are letting me down in this episode. Decent. Shocking conversion rate. Shocking defending. Shocking. Got nothing much to say about the hair. I think the hair is the only player I can't complain about in this episode. But we got the three points. We definitely confirmed top spot with that victory. Uh, Real Sociedad. We need to find out where where that puts them. Okay, so the game's kicked off now. We're at Old Trafford for this match against Nottingham Forest. We're at home. Uh, we should be winning. We should be winning this game. No shadow of a doubt. So we're attacking to the right. Nottingham Forest are attacking to the left. We are fielding quite a strong side. We have a few um, individuals that, are, that have come into the side, like Leo Butcher, Vardio. Uh, we've also seen uh, the likes of uh, Sabotslai get back into the starting eleven. Martial gets the nod ahead of Marcus Rashford, who's had a poor, poor episode, if I'm honest with you. Uh, but other than that, I think uh, that's about it for the changes. Benesse is back from his injury. I forgot to update you guys. Uh, after that game against Bournemouth, he was back in training. He's just not match fit or match sharp. So yeah, let's go, let's go. Let's bang in an early goal. We've been waiting for too long to get goals in this episode. We only got one out of uh, two games. This is our third, so yeah, we're, we're, we're playing catch up. We're going to take that free kick. Try to get up and over this wall. To box the light. Steps up. Up and over. Carmona. He tips it out for a corner. Tips out for a corner. That was about to be another banger. We have a corner kick. Bruno Fernandez standing over it. We're going to go with an in swing up. All goes into the penalty area. Header from Delo. Carmona again. Back to back saves. Not on the first. Under pressure. Only eight minutes in. Uh, we're, we're not going to go. We're not going to. We're not going to go long. We're going to go short this time. Jaden Sancho comes short. As uh, Bruno Fernandes plays it to him. There's a LaCroix inside the penalty area. Vardio, what are these centre-backs doing? Why are they so deep? Oh, there we go. Anthony, there we go. 1-0. I don't know why I'm saying why they're so deep. It was a corner kick for Christ's sakes. Okay, it's 1-0 to Manchester United. We've taken the lead. Anthony's done really well there to get the shot off. He opened up um, his body and uh, he puts it away with his weak foot. We did work on his weak foot earlier on in the save. Um, that's something that we could not have done in the first season. But yeah, under my management, he's definitely worked on his technical ability to pass it. We played into the box. Shirky, a one year. Bard, a one year. Johnson. What is going on here? This is just ridiculous now. That's just ridiculous. That just, that just doesn't make sense. They're doing back hills after back hill after back hill. The cheek. The cheek of it all. Ball goes into the box. Header from... Who's that? Who was that with the head up? I was going to say Johnson, but I don't think that was Johnson. It could have been Johnson, actually. But David Ahead does pull off a nice save. There's the one yeet. Jesse Lingard takes a long shot. LaCroix with the block. 37 minutes on the clock. Here's uh, Jaden Sancho. Alassia. Sancho. Travel with the ball. Sancho. Sabotslai, top bins, top bins it is. Dominic Sabotslai, the Hungarian, has banged in another goal. This guy's having a hell of a first season uh, as he doubles our lead at Old Trafford. A one yeet. First and forth for Nottingham Forest. A one yeet inside the penalty area. Takes a shot. What has gone on there? If LaCroix deflected that into his own net, I would have called it a day. I would have called it a day. I definitely would have just called it a day. Okay, so we are making three changes. Shao Felix, he's on for Jaden Sancho. We're also bringing on um, we're bringing on Shatire, taking off Sabotsalai. Uh, I know we made another change. Timber, he's on for Delope as the ball goes in. But Nottingham Forest is cleared out. Svensson to Niakite into Awanyi. Shot from Juan Mi. And a nice save from David Ahir. Had to get really low to deny Juan Mi an opportunity to get Nottingham Forest back into the game. 77 minutes on the clock. Let's go. Let's bomb forward. We've got Shatiri ahead of me and Timber. We go for Timber. And look, lo and behold. Lo and behold. Come on. How do you under hit such an easy pass to make? Well done, Vardio. Come on, man. I know this ain't ultimate team, but bro, this just feels like Pez 2009. 
And, and if you play that game, you know how slow and shocking that game was. I say from De Gea, the nice Mangala. Another one-on-one -on -one opportunity for Nottingham Forest. Wasted. Another look at that. Nice first, first touch to set himself up. De Gea does really well to pounce on the... <laughs> Literally, what are the, what are the members of the crowd doing? <laughs> the ball goes in. Well done, Vardio. Deals with that. Oh, the keeper's not even on his line. Here's a free goal. Here is a free goal, but we're probably going to miss it, knowing us. Here's Martial. Takes a shot. Takes a shot. Martial. A lo and behold. A lo and behold, he misses an open goal. We won 2-0. No. We won 2-0. No. That's all that's really that's all that matters, really. That's the important thing. We got three points. And uh yeah, we just need to see how it's reflected on the table. Because last time I checked, we were only two points ahead of the side that was second because of those drop points against Leicester City. And uh, also, let's see, let's see how Manchester City go on against Chelsea. Okay, yeah, because um, we played like three games in this episode and I've only managed to give you guys three goals to witness on camera, we are going to extend this episode by an extra game and we are going to bless you guys with the Northwest Derby. So Liverpool versus Manchester United, we're playing at Anfield and as you can see, it's first versus third. Uh, Liverpool, they have 27 points on the table to our 32 we are currently five points clear of them. We are four points clear of Arsenal, who did end up playing their, their game in hand after our game. Um, so, yeah, they, they, they dropped points. I think they drew their game, if I'm correct. Yeah, because um, after that game, they had 20. Yeah, they drew. They had 27 points after our match because uh, they played on the Sunday. So, yeah, let's head off into this game. Let's bag another set of three points. It's not going to be easy. We just about beat Nottingham Forest 2-0. I know we beat them 2-0. You can't say just about, but... If you had the pad in your hand and you was playing with me or for me, yeah, it, it was just that we just about scraped those two goals because um, those attacks, they didn't feel natural for me. And the way I managed to bag those goals, you could tell from my commentary as well, like things were just all over the place for us. So, yeah, like I said, let's head off into this game. Let's try to give you guys a cracking game to end this episode. Here we go, the Liverpool fans singing their hearts out. Uh, the anthem is ringing around the Anfield Stadium. Can we put that noise to bed? First versus third. There's an opportunity for Liverpool to catch up. They're well within a shot within this title race. It is definitely between us, Liverpool, um, Arsenal, West Ham, City. It's wide open. But but we can separate ourselves with a victory against one of our title rivals. So, Liverpool, the home side, they're going to line up with Alisson in goal. Tommy Yasu's at the back with Van Dijk, Min Jae and Simakas. Uh, in the middle, they have Jones, Fabinho and Jorginho. Up top, they have Salah, Nunes and Diaz. Away from home, we are going to be fielding David Gea in goal. Timbers at the back with Lacroix, Vardio and Mendes. In the middle, we have Fernandes, Martinez and Sabotsalai. Down the middle, we have Rashford. Felix is off the left-hand side. We are playing um, Sancho down the right-hand side as well. So, yeah, we're playing Martinez as our number six in this game. Uh, hopefully, he can gel well within the uh, midfield three. Hopefully, it's not going to be an unfamiliar position for him to play in in this, uh, in this save. Obviously, he can play there in real life, but we don't really use him as a CDM in our saves. We did use him earlier on in the season. He didn't play badly. There was a game where we did get overrun in the midfield. We lacked creativity because he's not a creative um, midfielder and he's not a deep line playmaker. So, yeah, he, he only has a bit of a range of passes that could get him through a full 90 minutes as a CDM. I don't know why Mo Salah did that. I don't know. This game just feels so tapped right now. There's a lot of tapped things happening um, during the time of recording. Mendes swings the ball into the box. Support so lies there. Min J is in the way. Darwin Nunes follows up with an extra header away. Still in the Liverpool half though. With United. There's Vardio into Timber. Go on, Timber. Go on, Sancho. Go on, Timber. Put a ball in for, for Rashford. Min J comes across and does really well. I think he's won himself a, a goal kick. I'm not too sure. Let's see. I'm going to try to drill it into Martinez outside the box. Sancho. 
Jaden Sancho takes a right foot shot. Allison, he's forced to make a save. The player with the knock, testing out the Brazilian. I don't want to have to bring off Jaden Sancho because then that's one stoppage used and that's one substitution used. Let's see. Let's give him another five to ten minutes. Okay, so the second half is underway. We end up having to take Jaden Sancho off for Anthony. Anthony, I mean, I'm not annoyed that Anthony's on, but I'm just annoyed that another player is off injured and uh, we we're forced to make another early change. Oh, come on, man. What is going on? That first touch from LaCroix is so suspect. And this led to a goal scoring opportunity, which was taken by Darwin Nunes. Why? Like, why? Honestly, why? Why does he take a touch and just stop? Like, he just stops. He doesn't, he doesn't go towards the ball to try and dribble past the player. He doesn't try to pass, even though I'm holding X to move the ball on. He just stops and allows the Liverpool player to take it off of him. It's just pure frustration in this episode. We didn't deserve to lose, but it made more sense to why we lost against Leicester City. Liverpool, just then, they, it just doesn't make sense. It really doesn't. It really doesn't. It really doesn't. I'm really frustrated right now. Because I'm sitting here, I'm doing things, and nothing's coming off. Like, nothing is coming off at all. Ugh, Shao Felix. Rashford, it's just a joke, man. It's, it's just a real joke. Jorginho Diaz Jorginho they've just made ultimate unplayable again okay so there's Charles Felix Bruno Fernandes running forward with the ball plays a nice ball in behind Rashford Anthony 1-1 one, 1-1 one. One, one. we needed that goal we deserved that goal matter of fact matter of fact we deserved that goal it's 1-1 one, one. He's going to continue to move this ball around, play piggy in the middle with these annoying guys. Because uh, they're literally sitting back, which is definitely not like Liverpool and Karim Odiva. They like to press. They mark all your players out of the game. Like, I don't know what's going on. Why are they sitting? Oh, <gasps> Shao Felix, first touch. Look at that first touch. Of course. Of course. <laughs> in front of goal, when it matters. Guy's got a first touch of a donkey, bruv. It's Darwin into Mo Salah. Oh, no. Come on, man. It's just stupid. It's just really stupid how this all happens. How it all transpires. Like, and the right back as well. You're meant to be watching Diaz. Why does Diaz always have free reigns to come on the inside? And LaCroix. LaCroix, if my man's coming on the inside, you should be there if your right back's a joke, man, as well. What's LaCroix... What's LaCroix doing there? <coughs> oh, this is a joke. I want this episode to end right now. I want it to end right, right now. Okay, so yeah, we're making another change. Uh, LaCroix, he's off for Lindelof. So the next, the next change we make, it has to be all three subs. Otherwise, we've used all our stoppages. But we're 2-1 we're down against uh, Liverpool. Luis Diaz is the player who's given Liverpool the lead. 64 minutes has gone. It's another match in this episode. Oh, come on, man. This is t this taking the piss now, bro. Like, why is it? Why is this first touch that shit? It just doesn't add up. It doesn't add up. Look, I'm switching to guys. I'm trying to switch to guys at least. It's Anthony. Go on, we need to focus now. Timber, ball played in the gap. Go on, Rashford. Go on, Rashford. Go on, Rashford. Go on, Rashford. I tried to dink the guy. I don't know why. I don't know why. Maybe I should have just pelted it across the keeper. But we've got a corner kick. Simicas and Minjay, they're off for Arnold and Sven Botman. So they're strengthening, in a way. <laughs> There's Luis Diaz. Come on, stop that pass. Come on, do better than that, boys. Darwin Nunes, Luis Diaz, another goal. Of course there's another goal. Of course there's another goal. All this is really done now. Just know, in the next episode, I swear to you guys, I am going to be on smoke. You don't understand the shellings I'm going to be giving the opposition for the next episode. Because we have Man... Do we have Man City? I think we got Man City in the next episode. And then we're going to have to look at this. Jurgen Klopp. Jurgen Klopp celebrating with his men. I mean, he's, he's definitely deserved it. Whatever he said to them at half-time, it definitely worked. And whatever I said to my players at half-time, I mean, yeah... 
I need to improve on my halftime team talks clearly because they came out a shadow of themselves and they've definitely, definitely let down the away fans yet again. Uh, normally, normally at the end of an encounter at Anfield, we shut the Anfield fans up, the home crowd, we shut them up. But this time around, it's a bitter pill to swallow. So at the end of the episode, I'm not going to do enough uh, too much waffling. I'm sure this episode is probably going to drag on um, in terms of like time, time wise. Uh, so yeah, as you can see at the end of the episode, we're still on top of the table despite the two defeats. Uh, we have 32 points, only two points ahead of Liverpool, three points clear of West Ham United and still four points ahead of Arsenal because they haven't played their 14th game just yet. Outside of top four is uh, Tottenham Hotspur. They have 25 points and they're fifth place. We're going to quickly head over to Group D. We're not going to break down the whole uh, Premier League table. We're not even halfway through the season yet. I just feel like, yeah, we, we take too much time reading out the whole table. So, five games played in Group D. We are currently on top of that table with 15 points. Slavia Praha, their second with nine. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's Real Sociedad. They have to settle for Europa League unless Club Bruges can pull off a, a, a massive upset in, the, um, in, in match day six. So, yeah, that's going to be the showdown. Match day six, Club Bruges against Real Sociedad. May United up against Slavia Praha. That result for the, that game for us, it, the result don't really matter. We could probably rotate, play a few fr uh, fringe players here and there, and uh, see how they get on. But yeah, um, in terms of the overall performance of this episode, I mean, you guys don't really need me to tell you. Let me know in the comment section below. <laughs> Let me know what you think or my concentration, my defending, and also my finishing. Because at the end of the day, I am holding the controller in my hand. But but bro I, I don't understand why there's su there was such a delay in this game in this episode like every time i was in front of the goal i tried to cut the ball back and shoot first time they will take a first touch and they will get clamped even the first touches they were terrible i just don't understand why the passing accuracy was non-existent in this episode we've had pretty much 80 80 percent and above in, in most games um leading up to this episode in this episode, I, I doubt that we even touch 85% percentage of pass completion. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm nitpicking on one particular statistic. But I, you, you guys already know I love to pass the ball around and um, break down the opposition. That's that's one stat that I really relish. That's that's the second stat that I relish: percentage, um, possession percentage, and pass the percentage. Um, but yeah, that's it. I'm not going to waffle no more. We're going to take a look at the calendar. So we're not going to be playing Aston Villa. We're not going to be playing Slava Pra. We're not going to be playing e um, Everton. What we're going to do, we're going to play West Ham United. We're going to play Manchester City. And then we're going to have the quarterfinals of the Carabao Cup. Because that makes the most sense. And um, yeah, I don't, I don't want to take too long and prolong a season. I do want to get to the January window. Um, as quick as possible and then after that we're going to have the knockout phase of the Champions League so the season's going to get spicier and uh, we're not um, taking too much time uh, for like little battles against teams like uh, Aston Villa and Everton because um, during the course of the season like we're going to come across them again uh, so there's going to be another opportunity to play a side like that on camera but um, for now we're going to stick with that West Ham, City and Swindon I'm not even going to say anything. I'm not going to jinx it. Last season, we didn't even make it to the quarterfinals. So, yeah, it's not a foregone conclusion. But I, I hope by the end of the episode, we are we have a, a, a spot booked in the semifinals of the Carabao Cup, EFL Cup, whatever you want to call it. But, yeah, uh, I'm done, guys. I'm so done. I'm so done. This has been a terrible episode results-wise. I've had fun recording it despite all the raging and complaining that I've been doing. Uh, best believe I have had fun, otherwise I probably wouldn't be doing it still. But yeah, if you made it this far, please remember to smash that like button, sub to the channel if you're new, and also hit the notification bell so you know for when I go live, premiere video, and upload one. I'd like to say a special thank you to everyone that's been patient for me um, when it comes to like uploading these videos. I like the support that I'm seeing so far. Um, we just started season three. You guys are showing up. You guys aren't really commenting that much, which is okay. But I can see from the watch time and the likes and stuff, you guys are actually supporting the series. Still, still, we're still going strong. Um, yeah, yeah. Hope to see you guys for episode 33. Hopefully, it's not gonna be um, it's not gonna have too much raging. Hopefully, he's gonna have more goals. Well, see, we did get some go um some goals, but obviously Liverpool they yeah they made a, a really good example out of my defenders. But yeah, that's it for now. Take care. Peace.